Welcome Socorro, thank you for joining us today. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, so I'm Socorro, I go by Coco. I'm the Children's Supervising Librarian at Downey City Library and Project Manager at Allies for Every Child. I am Christina Espinosa, the Family Education Coordinator for Quality Star LA. And today we're here to have a short conversation on uh, how early learning programs can creatively collaborate with local organizations, specifically libraries. And that's why we are honored and happy to have you here with us, uh, Socorro. And we're going to kick it off with our first question. What resources and services do libraries offer now that they didn't before? Well, there's a lot. <laughs> so uh, aside from the traditional story times, uh, some libraries have specified them more towards a you know targeted audience like sensory story times um bilingual story times we know for sure that nationwide that wasn't always an offering um and aside from that play dates so everyone has traditionally thought of libraries as a quiet space um and that's not what we see nowadays so they're invited to come as families to play together in the library. Um, we have films for families, um, movie nights, game nights. Um, we have a lot of different cultures represented. So um, different holidays are celebrated, different backgrounds are welcomed and celebrated. Um, a lot of libraries now also have maker spaces where they may come into the library and learn to sew. Uh, pick up watercolor, um, you know, painting, uh, make things We're using a 3D printer. So lots of technology, uh, um, and then digital resources, of course. So it's not just coming into the library and checking out a book, but there's also online things. You know, you can watch a movie, you can listen to music, you can do so much um, that you weren't able to do before. That is really exciting to hear about. Thank you for, for elaborating. And I think uh, you may have mentioned when we were conversing before about some uh, programming that might be particularly beneficial for families with young children. Um, I don't know if you can elaborate a few more examples, uh, maybe some specific to Downey or otherwise. Definitely. So here in Downey, we're currently offering an infant massage class for free. Um, so that's a targeted for families that have non-mobile infants, so they're not crawling yet, they're not walking yet. Uh, we also will be offering sign, say, and play. So it allows families to learn how to communicate and gives a child a way to communicate their needs, their thoughts um, with uh, their grown-ups when they don't have you know, speech yet or when that speech is not clear. Um, and so that is targeted specifically for families with younger children. Um, and then also, you know, things like Lego Builders Club, where they can play um, with Lego and, and learn different ways of constructing something, um, tandem with another child or with their grown up, um, cooking. So we have like a preschool cooking class, an elementary cooking class. Um, it's not something that you typically think of when you think of library, um, but that's available here. Oh, that is such a variety. Yes, there's so much more uh, to, for families to consider. And, and on that note, are there any uh, library offerings that you think families are not often aware of? Maybe like any hidden gems? I think a lot of times it's the, um, the bilingual story times. Um, we also on Saturday mornings offer a baby story time. And so usually, you know, um, especially first time moms um, are a little bit nervous about taking baby out <laughs> or congregating with others. But we have that provided here before the library even opens. So, um, you know, it helps to make families more comfortable about bringing their little ones in and they get to socialize not only baby to baby, but um, grown up to grown up. I, I love that inclusivity too of how adults can feel welcomed and, and a part of a larger community as well. On that same vein, thinking of early learning programs, whether it's a family child care program in, in someone's home or a center-based program like a preschool and such, uh, what are some ways that early learning programs can connect families with libraries? How can they take advantage of library offerings to support families? Well, definitely just letting us know that they exist, right? 
um, letting us know that they're available and what they have to offer because we do have families that come in and are looking for those types of resources um, so we can um, share oh yeah you know we know of this location um, and this is what they have to offer then we can reroute them their way um, but just also um, if they want to put on like a, a family literacy night or something where they might not necessarily have the space to do so. We welcome that opportunity here. Um, we have plenty of space so that they can, they can um, host that here um, as well as if they have, um, you know, maybe uh, looking towards like outreaching and wanting to connect, wanting to collaborate together. Uh, we're definitely open to that. If they have ideas that they want to share about what their family's needs are, you know, letting us know about that because we want to be able to serve the needs of the community. And if they're in our community, we want to be uh, connected to them. Most definitely. Most definitely. And I think that uh, ba going back to what you shared about the spaces available as well, I, I'm not sure many programs are aware of that, that, that library spaces are available to them as well for uh, more private programming or like a collaborative opportunity with libraries. And that would be a gift and such a, uh, a marvelous um, adventure as well for families as well to, to, you know, have their village come together in different ways. Yeah, and I mean, they can also do that through like um, a visit at the library. So you know, we can we can give them a tour so that they um, can get to see the different parts of the library and what we have to offer. We can hold a story time just for their group um, if they have you know a theme that they would like us to apply. You know, we can we can tailor it for them too so that they can start to feel comfortable coming into the library. Thank you so much for sharing that because it's so personalized and that touch can really just help, uh, you know, whether it's an early educator or a family member feel very, you know, very welcomed, very cared for. And uh, that makes such a big difference in like the connection that comes forward. Yeah, I mean, even if they have some, some need, some trouble with like putting together a book list, you know, they're um, wanting to switch up the songs that they're utilizing. So we're here for all of it, different levels. Yeah, and that's that's great to hear too because I think maybe some early learning programs are focused more so on like what events are available and they're not aware, as I mentioned, about the space but also the resource aspect that fa that libraries can be partners with them and all right, you know, I have this curriculum and I need to prepare an activity and like they can seek support for that as well. I think that's definitely something that early learning programs would lo want, love to tap into. A final question for you you know, putting on your librarian hat. As someone who works in a library, what message do you have for early learning programs? More than anything, just let us know you're out there. We want to have that connection with you. We want to know you're there. We want to know what your needs are, what the needs are of the families you're serving. What are you dealing with? What? How can we help? Um, do you have an idea for something that we haven't yet offered? You know, um, there's tons of opportunity there. Thank you so much. Oh, that is very, very exciting uh, to hear. And uh, I envision that a lot of uh, families and early learning programs will feel more inspired to explore. And uh, in general, I want to thank you for sharing your, your experiences and your ideas, your inspiration uh, to help put together just um, a fresh look of what's available for the ECE world within libraries as well and that and just continuing to build our village and you know build those bridges together um, as we support families with with young children and, and children of all ages really uh, thank you so much for joining us and I uh, look forward to to hearing what comes uh, from your program and other learning programs as well thank you